Good morning, YouTube. Uh, we got picked up our load to Roseville, California. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you about pre-trip planning. Because this winter, it has kept me running clean and kept me moving in a good direction. I've had very little downtime due to weather because I pre-trip planned. I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. We are on the verge of a storm getting ready to roll through Davenport and that northern corner of, of or that southeastern corner of Iowa. And uh, it looks like we're going to barely skate by that little storm. I'll let you know as we get there. Next stop is Walcott for fuel. I'll see you there. Just finishing my break up here in Walcott, and I want to show you the first part of this trip planning that I've done is I'm trying to get around this storm. And uh, as you can see with the weather app, we are trying to get past Des Moines before three o'clock, and it looks like we're gonna be able to do it. Uh, we just missed that red sail, and uh, ooh, it's gonna get nasty. But the rest of the country, the rest of this run is going right through here. It looks pretty good. I gotta get off this break and get going before the rain comes. <laughs> So I got to Nebraska and I was gonna show you the rest of the trip. But when I got to that rest area, there was zero, zero cell service. I couldn't watch any Netflix. I couldn't watch any YouTube. I couldn't listen to the radio. All I could do was sit there in silence and sleep. So I'm gonna show you if you're coming across the country some important things that you need to pay attention to before you leave with your load. Here's my weather app that I use, just the Weather Channel weather app. And you can see I've got the run across 90 set up with some key set points. So as I'm looking at the load board, I can keep an eye on the weather for that run on 90, uh, also the run across 80, and then I've got you know, these key points around Elk Mountain and the trouble, the pinch points, so to speak, in these runs. Going up 84 into Oregon. And then I've even got the uh, the other runs that we do, like Northern California. I need to get rid of Pasco and put in something else, but that's the 84 run. And then um, I've this is the, uh, the Truckee run right here the truck the trucky weather today and that trucky weather what is abysmal um really i watched this storm and it was something that 
spooked me all the way across the country. But, uh, you know, we're, we're here now. We were able to get across the hard part and find us a place to sleep. Check your weather before you leave. Well, we just went through the Laramie to Rawlings exit. You know, that stretch of 80 that comes across. And uh, that is the absolute smoothest run through Wyoming I've ever done in my life. There was no wind. Uh, getting about nine and a half miles a gallon. I don't believe I've ever come through Wyoming without a headwind or something hard in the side bouncing you all over the place. But, uh, oh, I loved it. That was the best run in Wyoming ever done right there. Uh, timing on this trip is uh, picture perfect so far. Let's hope it holds up when we get over to Truckee. Uh, I would like to get up into Truckee to shut down but I still think I need to stop short and let the snow plows do their work Friday and early Saturday and then uh, I'll be in a position to, to make that pass and delivery pretty early Saturday morning. Uh, in the meantime we're going to get over to Rock Springs shut down for the evening and enjoy a little R&R. See you there. Pilot Flying J here in Wanamunca, Nevada. Uh, got a bit of a problem here. I'm not going to be able to make delivery this afternoon. I could if I had more hours on the book, but I don't have enough time left on the book. So I'm going to have to stop short, and there's no good place to stop in Sacramento. I could stay here and leave three hours on my book for today, which may be what I end up doing. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, I'm going to get in the truck, take a good extended break here, and uh, kind of figure out what I'm going to do. I'm going to plan the rest of my trip. One of the hardest things to do is find a place to land. And this app, the uh, Trucker Path app, is extremely helpful. When you open the app, what you're going to see is places that you can stop with a big truck. Us hauling RV units, we often need to uh, go into places like big trucks. Here I'm showing you a road closure that I found on the, on the app. It also shows you the location of way stations, if the way stations are open or closed, all important information in pre-trip planning. Uh, you can get distances to show you how far you are away from things, to know with timing if you can make that spot or not legally while you're running on your books. Very important app here. You need it, get it. I do think I wanna get across Chuckney or at least to Chuckney this evening. And the reason being is they're getting a lot of rain and snow right now. And uh, if we don't get across there, it's supposed to be freezing in the morning. And I really don't want to be driving on any black ice. I'll see you in a bit. At least it's raining on us. About 35 degrees. It's not snowing. That's a huge plus. So when you select your load from the load board, you're gonna to need to look at where the location is on that. Put it into your GPS system and that'll give you the mileage. You know that you're looking for a place to stop. 650, 680, if, if you're getting good weather and there's not a lot of traffic, you might get 700 miles out of a day. But that's about it if you're running 65 like we're supposed to be running. So you need to use the Trucker Pack Path app 
in coordination with your GPS to figure out where you can land for the night. I like to stop at rest stops and not truck stops because rest stops usually have convenient pull throughs instead of trying to back a trailer into a narrow slot built for a trucker. Even if you're good at backing a trailer and there's an open spot next to you, a lot of these truck drivers are not good at backing their big rigs and you can see the scuffs and scratches on the side of their trailers. If you get a scuff and a scratch on the side of your unit, you are responsible for it. So make sure that you pick out good locations to land your units at night. Uh, weather is always going to be a part of what we do. Not only the wind, but the rain and the snow. During the wet winter, I took huge, I, I was very selective in the loads that I picked by keeping an eye on the weather from the runs. And when I found a good weather window, I would select a load to go through that area. Um, it's not always possible. I got into some pretty hairy situations this winter, but um, because I did the best I could do with my pre-trip planning, I limited my exposure to snow and ice events. And if you'll take a little time and pre-plan your trips, you will limit your exposure to your safety and the safety of the unit. Getting more truck warmed up this morning, getting ready to leave for delivery. And there's one more part of uh, preparation and planning that I want to show you. And it starts right back here. When you get up in the mornings and before you get ready to leave, come back and check your pins. Check your main pin and its stuff. Check everything, make sure it's hooked up. Make sure your pins are good. Tires on the unit. Let's give it a once overview. Check your lights. You don't know how people mess with stuff while you're asleep. Yeah. And you check your own rig, you know? I'm gonna go get this one delivered and uh, y'all be safe on the road. Know that I love you and God bless you all.